this video, I'm going to show you how to live view cameras from an NVR or a DVR after you've added it to the DMSS app. So first, we're going to open up the DMSS app. Here you can see I already have an NVR attached to my system, and I've named it Office. So I could either pull up the channels by tapping the Play All button on the right-hand side of this, or I can tap the caret next to Office to expand the list of cameras. Here you can see I have three IP cameras connected to my Office NVR, and if I wanted to bring up a single one of these channels, I would just tap that channel, and it would bring it up in the camera grid view in full screen. If I had other cameras here, I could use my finger to pan through these camera channels, but I only have this first channel pulled up from my Office NVR. So I want to pull up three of the channels from my NVR, so I'm going to tap out. So I'm going to tap the left-hand side arrow at the top to get back to my device list. And now, to pull up all of the channels from my NVR, I'm going to click the Play All button. So, you can see it pull up the first three channels that I have on my NVR, and these happen to be the only channels I have on my NVR. So, the camera 4 through 8 will not appear or possibly give me an error on this. And again, to scan through these four camera grid views, I could press and hold and drag between these views but I just want to be on my three camera grid view. So in order to bring one of these cameras into full screen, I can double tap on it. It'll pull it or enlarge it into the full grid view. If I wanted to make this camera full screen, I would simply tilt my camera to the side in landscape mode. To get back to the grid screen view, I'm going to put my camera back in portrait mode. Now I can play with some of the options here. Here we can see on the left hand side I can pause this stream. I could click the play button to play this stream again. Here I just so happen to be on the standard definition of this stream. If I wanted to get the high definition stream I would tap the SD and it would load the HD stream from this camera. Now it takes a little extra time to pull the HD stream and now we can see it is in the HD stream. This increases the amount of data that my app uses so you may want to keep it on the standard definition stream if you're on mobile data. So we'll go back to the standard definition stream. If this camera had a microphone, I could click the speaker icon in the center to listen to my camera. However, this camera does not have a microphone, so I'll turn that option back off. Here we can see a four and a square. This is actually the grid screen options. So I'm going to double tap on this channel to go back to my four camera grid view. And then I can tap on the four button to cycle through different views. So if I tap it once, it goes to a 9 camera grid view. If I tap it again, it goes to a 16 camera grid view. If I tap it again, it goes back to the 4 camera grid view. I can also add favorites by first tapping on a channel to highlighting it and pressing the star button. Now if I wanted to go ahead and play back video that is recorded on this channel, I would press the movie reel icon at the bottom left hand side and it would pull up the playback from my NVR for this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and tap the left arrow key at the top left hand side to get back to my cameras. Now if I wanted to record on my local iPhone, I would hit the camera icon at next to the movie reel. Now this is going to start recording and to stop recording on my iPhone, I'm going to tap that icon again. And see, it saved the recording to my iPhone, and I could check that at a later date. The center button is for two-way audio. If this camera had a microphone and a speaker, and I wanted to talk to somebody in front of the camera, I would tap the microphone icon. And then the app would also ask to use the microphone on my iPhone. And I would go ahead and click OK. However, again, this camera does not have two-way audio, so I'm going to tap off of that and turn off the two-way audio. If I wanted to take a snapshot of what my camera is currently seeing, I would hit the camera icon. And again, that's going to save it to my local hard drive. I could tap that preview to pull that up, or I could just look at it at a later date. Now to close all of the channels, this final button is what does that, and I can tap that. And let me bring a channel back in, and there are some advanced features under the more functions at the bottom. So if my camera had a wiper or some of these other features, then I would use them. For example, this light icon allows me to turn on a floodlight if my camera was a camera that features the floodlight option. Or if my camera was a PTZ camera with a wiper, 
I would select the rain wiper option. On the left hand side is actually the PTZ controls and that pulls up a neat little PTZ interface where I can use this center thing as a joystick. At the bottom left hand side if my camera had a motorized zoom lens I could use that. It pulls up a neat magnifying glass for plus and minus. This camera just so happens to be a motorized zoom camera so you can see I'm using the motorized zoom control on my iPhone app. And then I'm going to zoom this camera back out again using these magnifying icons on my camera screen. I can also control the iris or focus on this camera. However, it looks to be focused to me, so I'm going to leave that alone. And again, tapping out of most of these settings is what prevents them from being changed. And then you can exit out of the PTZ settings by hitting the X at the top right hand side. Hopefully this video helps you go through some of the live viewing options that are available on the DMSS app. And again, depending on what camera you have connected, it will vary on what features you can or cannot use. Thank you for watching.